In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can do multi-line formats in GET. So we will first of all take a look at what are the options provided to do the multi-line commit and then we'll also take a look at how we can then see only one line of the commit or the first line of the commit using get log dash dash one line option. So let's get started. In my Visual Studio Code Editor, go to any of the files that we have over here and let's make some changes over here. So I've added one line which says demo for multi-line commit messages and here when I go and say So usually what we do is we type get commit dash a for committing it and uh, then we go with m option which then asks for a message. Now here we are not going to do that. All we will do is just type get commit dash a and press enter. So here it says hint waiting for your editor to close the file. We're opening a new instance as you can see over here and here you can type the message so here you can see that now we have this commit edit message text file opened up and this resides inside the .git directory as you can see and here we are writing multi-line commit message and then this one is an additional line that I'm just trying to show that we can go with multi-line comments as well now let's close this and over here you will see that the first line that I wrote multi-line commit message is taken and then it says one file change to insertions and one relation. Now over here if I go and say get log, you will notice these are the logs that we have right now multi-line commit message and then the detailed version of it this one is additional. Now here if you keep on pressing enter it, it will keep on showing you the other comments that we had earlier and if you want to quit this just press Q and it will take you out. Now if you just want to access the one line so we'll go and say get get log dash dash one line press enter and here you can see that it is showing you the compressed version or just one line so for every comment that we have made. Till now we have been making single comments only I mean single line comments only so here we are with those this one obviously is the multi-line one which we just saw and you can press enter to see the other comments that we have been making till now and then press Q to quit so that is how we do multi-line comments in get one thing to remember over here is that you might not be able to get a new instance opened up automatically for that you will have to make certain changes in your config file so inside your git directory, open up the config file and add this line over here. Editor equals code dash dash wait then dash minus n. That will allow you to go with the multi-line comments as I demonstrated in this video. Thank you.